Hi, I'm Scotty. Uh, this is uh, group two, sermon seven. God loves the lost and the wandering. God seeks out lost, the lost. God loves everyone. God loves the lost and the wandering. Point one, God lo seeks out the lost. Um, Luke 19.10 Verse For the Son of Man comes to seek and save the lost. So if you're lost in the wood, lost in your heart, or lost your mind, God is seeking you out. If you've lost a love, if you've lost your heart, if you're going crazy, God loves you and see, is seeking you out. If you're in distress, if you've done something weird, you, you feel weird and you're unsure, God seeks the lost. So seek out the lost. Seek out Christ when you're feeling lost. When you're physically lost in the woods, pray to God. He might be trying to find you. Point two. God rejoices when the lost are found. Luke 15, 10. In some ways, I tell you, therefore is rejoice in the presence of the lost in the presence of angels of God every one sinner who repents okay English God big G Jesus the Holy Spirit angels archangels and all the firmament of heaven let's get grand here are going yay because you have repented from your sins. You have come to Christ. You're born again. You're leaning on God. The angels are rejoicing. Um, okay. God loves you, baby. Third point. God is a good shepherd who cares for every sheep. Verse John ten eleven. I am the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd that lays down his life for the sheep. Another part of that is when the shepherd has 99 sheep, he goes and tries to find the, the, the hundredth one and returns the sheep back to its flock. And all the sheep rejoice that the lost has been found. You can take that literally as the shepherd brings his flock in, gets them to lie down in green pastures, brings them to drinking water. That's another passage. Anyway. You are a sheep looking for a shepherd, a worshiper looking for a God, a child crying for its parents, parent looking for a child. We are all shepherds of our groups, our churches, our Sunday school classes, the business group, the people under us at work, the people you serve in a business, sales, cleaning, whatever it is. You serve, you help, you shepherd, you love, you respect. You are shepherds and you are sheep. And the shepherd sheep have a shepherd. Oh, Lord, that can go round and round. Jesus is the good shepherd. God is a good shepherd. The Holy Spirit shepherds and helps guide you. The 
Holy Spirit is in your pental gland and it is always with you. It is part of you. You are part of God and God is part of you. God is the good shepherd. Or shepherdess. That tries to take care of its lambs and sheep. In conclusion, in these passages, we f see a profound truth in God's love. For those who are lost and wandering, Jesus' mission is to seek and save the, the lost underscore under resources the lost lambs of the world he's committed to searching out the lost souls no matter how far they have strayed away so if you or think you are unsalvageable god is seeking you out and wants to save you and return you to his love and he doesn't care what you have done he wants you to improve and go on The rejoice of heaven over one sinner that has repented and reveals immense joy and celebrations that accompanies each return to the fold. <clears throat> Jesus is the good shepherd. He cares and sacrifices and lay down his life for each sheep in his flock. Thus verse collectively reminds us that God's love is all-encompassing, steadfast, unchangeable, and no one is beyond his reach. Each and every individual is cherished in his eyes as they reflect the truth. Let us embrace and call and seek out the care of of those who may be wandering, reflecting, boundless in love of extent to all of God's love. This is really interesting, but it reminds me of a Bible story of a younger son who demands of God that his father split the inheritance. Uh, he gives the younger son money instead of the land and property. That goes to the oldest son. And the silly son goes out into the world and parties, hardies down. Drinking wine, women in song. Partying like there's no tomorrow. Buying big mansions and big Cadillacs and then forgets to set aside money to pay for all this stuff. <sighs> Modern twist on that. And so, the poor kid, your child, is in a homeless shelter, or drunk on the side of the road, and he borrows someone's phone, or calls at the, the um, missionary, or on his uh, Obama phone, and says, Daddy, Mama, come rescue me, parent. Come save me. And you go on a bus or train or in your car to the location of the child and take them home. Give them fresh clothes. Give them a bath. Or have them do their own bath. And just sleep and sleep and sleep until they're refreshed. And then you throw a big bar... Texas big old barbecue in the backyard with all of the fixings you invite all of the family and friends and you say the lost has been returned my child has returned to me or my child has come back to me and back to God and he is the lost has been saved The older child is frustrated for the party that he didn't get, but the father tells him that the oldest child is still loved, still respected, 
still God's child. The Father loves him as well. But the lost child is now returned and we are rejoicing. So rejoice with me. Now, since the second child has destroyed his inheritance, and the first child has not. The second child works for the first child. The second child is sent for education. You try to find him a good placement and a good job somewhere. Whatever you can do to help the second child. You do but not at the expense of the first child, who is also greatly loved. My case, my uncle called up my mom to come rescue him. Baby brother. And we let him take a shower and put on clean clothes and go to sleep. And we try to help him out as best we can and we get him all settled down and off he goes. It was just a repeating cycle. I love my uncle, but it just kept needing saving. <laughs> the lost lamb, the poor child. Don't give until you hurt financially, physically, emotionally, but do help when you can. And if you can't, pray for them. God bless you. God bless you. Love you guys. Bye.